Oh, welcome to the morning routine, everybody. And look at we've got all these nice people. Say hi, nice people. Hi, hi everybody. Hi. What's up? Yes. Uh, so, like I said, we are doing the morning routine a little bit differently. It is Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Everyone having a good Monday yes. so far? Yes. Yeah. It's Lunez. It's Lunez, yes. Um, so, we're going to do some regular things, some things you're used to, like headlines. We came up with some cool headlines. And we're going to do some new bits and some old bits, and we're just going to see how this goes, right? Right? Yes. Right. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Uh, starting with some headlines. Get my cards in order here. Direct from Congress. Yeah. All right. Headline number one. I guess uh, we've got to frame where it's going to go. Ray might put it like down here somewhere. I don't know. But um, the uh, headline number one is a contest for the worst science stock photo has taken the internet by storm. So a science stock photo is. It's a science photo and it's stock, so it's like a whole bunch of pictures that the scientists can use for uh, work that they do. And this is the uh, this is uh, yeah taking the internet by storm. So, all right. So yeah, uh, that that great dude is from Weird Science, but yeah, gotcha! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Slam dunk. Yeah, Slam it can dunk. be dangerous when you're on here. So all right, next. Uh, Next headline, Nikki Six says John 5 has re-inspired Motley Crue. And I think that the inspiration is coming directly from the Jack, the coat he's wearing. It's his big fluffy fur coat. It's white fluffy fur coat. Would you wear a white fluffy fur coat, Josh? How about you, Austin? Um, Too edgy? When it's nice and cold. Nice and cold. How about you, Lavelle? Fluffy fur coats? Um. Yeah, when it's cold. Yeah. Uh, how about you? Yeah, like me. No. no, no. I I can see Sea Dog rocking that coat. Oop, that one right in the ground. <laughs> All right, next headline we have uh, fan left fans left horrified after seeing live action Stitch. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. The movie comes out in 2020. Comes out in 2024, 2025. Right. And, uh, looks like something. Looks like a <laughs> dollar bin DVD movie yeah. that was cheaply produced for like two dollars. I think what it is. I think the image and the what they're talking about is they'll, they'll do a pre-screening of movies before they're even kind of finished with all the CGI effects and all that stuff. I think that's what they saw, and so the graphics were terrible. So Disney, let's not let release that stuff too early. It's kind of like how yeah. there was a Grand Theft Auto Six League where there was a bunch of primitive stuff and how they were trying to work out everything, but the graphics weren't completely done yet. So, yep. uh, exactly. That's sort of thing. Yeah. So anyway, all right, that's the headlines for today. Uh, headlines. So yes, headlines. Now, um, what are we talking about on Monday? Monday positivity. Yes, and we're positively working the new way of doing the morning routine just like this. As I said, we'll have a different crew from time to time, but it's going to be you know, three days of the same folks. Every three days, we'll kind of mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Some folks will stay, some will rotate, some are behind the camera. Brennan right now is making sure that my phone doesn't cut off <laughs> because if, my, if someone calls Brennan. my phone, the video stops. And so Brennan's taking care of that. Connor also, he did a lot of filming, actual the camera work, uh, when uh, filming some of the other bits we did. In fact, we're gonna see some of those right now, starting with Serena, with a new bit that we're adding, which is a uh, sign language phrase of the day. So she's going to show you that right now. What's up? How are you? <laughs> Doing good, how are you? Very good, all right. Thank you, Serena, for being a part of doing that stuff. What Serena did on uh, uh, last Friday, or the Friday before, 
she did sign while I was talking, which I thought was really, really cool, and I appreciate her helping out with that. We also said that we're going to do uh, some trainings uh, with Serena teaching some sign language and stuff. She already taught me uh, what I really needed, to, you know, which two, two phrases that I really needed in my life. I'm awesome. <laughs> and the other is, <laughs> you know what that is? Huh? Okay, let's all do it together, okay? So it's a, it's a C with your right hand, your right hand, C, right? Yes. And then, so it's like the hang, <laughs> loose, hang loose sign, but you're scratching your nose with your thumb, right? What's yeah. yeah. See, I'm becoming a good teacher. <laughs> right? So what, what does that mean? Clayton is a goober. <laughs> we all just learned how to call Clayton a goober. He's a goofy goober. A lot of goofy goober, yeah. You. <laughs> yeah. So, Serena's a good sport. Uh, we're going to do the trainings, like I said, uh, where uh, Serena's doing that. Uh, and then we're just going to keep having as much fun as possible. You guys can attest to kind of how this was today. It's a bit of a learning curve, figuring out how we're going to Yeah, the curve's very big. Like, uh, I think I just saw it just down the freeway. Yeah. It's a big curve figuring out how we're doing this, coming up with all the bits, doing the filming, setting up everything. Are you guys liking it? Yes. yes. Yeah. It's interesting. Interesting, yes. So lots more to come, and our guy behind the camera is gonna tell me, you know, not just, uh, oh, the camera stopped because the phone, you got a phone call, but where we're at on time, because I am known to talk too much. And he just gave me the sign. Oh, perfect. You did it right, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we actually, uh, Serena taught us because we need someone behind the camera to tell me to start lopping it off, stop talking. How much time do I have left? And so Serena taught us the sign language for that, which is, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what Brandon just did behind the camera, letting me know that I have one minute left. I need to wrap it up. So it means wrap it up, correct? Yeah. Wrap it up. There. I just screwed I could it just up. get a wrap it up box. Yeah. Yo, the sign is real simple, B. It says wrap it up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we could have done a million things, but I love the sign language. I love incorporating different things into it. So, any thoughts you guys want to end with today? No. No? No thoughts? Austin's got a thought. It's brewing. Here it comes. Uh, don't be my father. Be yourself. Be who you want to be. Just be cool, man. Don't worry about it. I love that. Be cool, man. I agree Don't with worry Austin. about it. Yeah, I agree with Austin too. All right, so we got Serena. You saw that. Uh, next up, we've got uh, uh, Josh's positive quote of the day. Hello, everybody. Josh Asbill with a positive quote. Today's positive quote. It is not easy to live life sometimes to face the world with a smile when you, when you are crying inside. It takes a lot of courage to reach down inside yourself, hold on to that strength and know that tomorrow is a new day with new possibilities. But if you can just hold on long enough to see this through and trust that you can survive this, you'll come out a new person, stronger, and as long as you don't give up, and keep pushing forward no matter how hopeless things seem you will make it <laughs> all right now i'm getting yelled at for time now so we're gonna hurry thank you josh for the positive quote always good stuff sea dogs making it back into mondays so i know that a couple of you guys had some questions for sea dog let's let's see what their questions were for sea dog he's giving advice these days let's see As you see, C Dog has upgraded his musical instrument from his coffee bongos, his harmonica. Now he's got this tiny little blue guitar. No one better step on my blue guitar. Woo! All right, so 
we got a new bit today. My my agent, you know, Squirrel Man, you know, he uh, told me I got to start doing something new called Advice with Sea Dog, or Sea Dog gives advice. I don't know, whatever. You know, Sea Dog does give some really good advice, especially beauty's advice. Check out this face. This visage is awesome. So if it has to do with a makeover, Sea Dog's your dude. All right, so my first guest today is none other than my little broskina, Lavelle. Woo, how you doing, Lavelle? Doing good. Ah, so you're here to ask the broski, the king of the broskis, about some advice. You want some musical stuff? Woo! Oh, 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 okay, okay. All right, all right, so what's up? Well, you see, one of my kitties keeps stealing my socks. What should I do? Oh, oh, that's easy. That's easy, broski. When your kitty is having issues stealing your socks, what you do is you just never change them. And when they start smelling so bad, the, the cat won't want to touch them anymore. So you never change your socks. Just like Sea Dog, you want to smell? You know. Oh, okay. I haven't changed my socks in like, ever. You know, they look like boots when I pull them off. They're just so firm. But that's how you get the animals. That's how I got the possums and the raccoons to quit stealing Sea Dog socks. I just quit washing them. And I just wear the same ones. So I recommend that if you do that, your kitty will stop selling your socks. That could be true. Uh, yeah, I guarantee it's true, because like I said, but, the possums and stuff, they don't touch them. But if I wear the same socks every day, they will most likely smell bad and nobody is going to want to come near me. Well, you can always hang out with Sea Dog down by the river, and Sea Dog doesn't mind the smells. But hey, you know, but that's how you get the kitty cats to stop stealing your socks. So take that advice, go home, don't wash your socks. All right? I'm so, I'm, I'm so gonna wash my socks. Well then I'm so gonna I, recommend the kitty's probably gonna still steal them. I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll just put them somewhere very high so they can't get them. Oh, uh, that seems like a lot of extra effort, but hey, teach uh, their own, all right? I, I know that sometimes kitties can climb into high um, um, places. That's true, that's true. All right, well, thank you for joining me today on Advice with Sea Dog. And, uh, it was great seeing you. Uh, well, awesome. It's always great seeing you, too. All right, so have a great, great day. See you another time. All right, bye. bye. Woo All right, that was, uh, I, Sea Dog is really good at giving advice, you know. You know, so I think those, uh, if you don't wash your socks, those, those kitty cats will not touch them, or possums, or raccoons. All right, so. Until next time, this is Advice with Sea Dog. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, sir. Uh, all right, so that's Sea Dog. Uh, he's going to be giving advice, I guess, or something like that. Only a Sea Dog can. I don't know. Did he help you guys out very much? Uh, <laughs> I'll have to ask my buddy Phil. He filled in for me. Oh, got it. Any, any luck with your situation with Cat? No. No, yeah. So we'll see. Anyway, Sea uh, Dog, now let's go back in the, what is it? Field of the past. The past. It's gonna it's take me back to the past. <laughs> Hey, hey, everybody. Monday, May 1st here. I hope you guys uh, had a great weekend. It was warm, my goodness, right? Out of nowhere. Hopefully it starts to cool down a little bit. But hey, we're going to start by going back, back in the bearded past, past, past with, with Zach. Zach. And today I'm going to give you a little Oakdale, Stanislaus County history. Oakdale Bud is right over there. Yeah, Oakdale Bud. Um, no, but uh, this... You guys have probably heard this name, and this built this actual operation still happens to this day. A. L. Gilbert started a company that has continued for 95 years. They originally took started this company in 1892, and then turned it over into the lumber company in 1890 feet, 1895. Um, down the road, what ended up happening is now they sell feed, and the Gilberts have kept this in the family all the way up until this time. I actually went to school with one of the Gilberts and uh, one of the, basically one of the uh, 
descendants of those who started this uh, this feed store. Now, if you're going out of town in Oakdale, if you're going out of town and you haven't been there, it's going to be on the right-hand side on your way out towards Escalon on the 120 there. So uh, you get an opportunity. But really cool. Here's a picture right here of some of the guys uh, standing around their work and uh, sitting there. But, you know, it's amazing, you know, some of these things that have lasted so long and... Like I said, if you meet a Gilbert in Oakdale, it's a good chance he's a descendant of the A.L. Gilberts. All right, guys. Take care, man. All right, very good. And Gabrielle's going to be joining us uh, with a National Day, I think. It's Gabrielle. We'll it's Corn Dog Day, isn't we'll it? We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. I'm back. Yes, I have a little hiatus going on there, but you know, I'm back now. And I have a different person behind the camera. This is way cool. I don't know. I'm starting to feel really kind of important now, but it is May. We're in a new month. One, two, three. We're in the fifth month. Four months are gone this year already. Can't believe it. Can you believe it? Connor can't believe it either. He's my cameraman today. Woohoo! So anyway, we're going to start out with the National Day today on the 1st of May. It's also May Day. Got a maypole, go run around it with a string. That's what we did when we were little. But anyway, I picked something different and I brought something to kind of show around. Poor little thing needs a little work done to it. But today is National Mother Goose Day. Mother Goose, you might ask. Do you know who Mother Goose is? She's a fictional character really and she read well she did nursery rhymes I brought a mother goose nursery rhyme book see poor thing it's because it's old er because it was given to me when I was very small and it's even inscripted in here it was from my aunt and uncle so I've had this 50 some years so you know Mother Goose did the rhymes, all these rhymes that we knew when we were younger. Old King Cole was a merry old soul. And off to the market. You had three little kittens lost their mittens. A diller, a dollar, a were-a-were, Jack Spratt. Lots of these little things, you know, ding-dong down the bell. Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater. Do you remember Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Ray, you ever heard of Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater? No. Had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin <laughs> shell and there he kept her very well. Oh, my. Mary had a little lamb. Not that one. Okay. Then we have uh, little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. Uh, yeah. Okay. And doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. So this was who Mother Goose was. She had all these rhymes. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. Oh yeah, I've heard that. Cow Here's jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport. While well, he ran away with a spoon. Hmm. So many other, oh, Jack and Jill. Heard that one. Got that one. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and, and Jill, Jill came tumbling, tumbling after. after. Yeah, see? That's Mother Goose. It's her day today. She's got all these great nursery rhymes. They called them nursery rhyme back in then, but they're just, I guess they are rhymes. But there's so many. <gasps> Humpty Dumpty. Oh yeah. Humpty Dumpty sat, sat on a wall. wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All, all the king's, king's horses and all, all the king's men. men can't put Humpty back together again. Yes, see? That's Mother Goose. Boy, we're going here. We've got them all. Oh, we'll have to find one more before we go. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see what twin we got. Wow, my goodness. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock strike one. The mouse ran. Oh, the mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. See? Oh, these are going to be great. I'm going to have people to help me. But that's what today is. So remember some of your nursery rhymes like Connor and I just did. And have a great day on Mother Goose Day.
All right, very good. That is it for the new version of the morning routine. Yes, yes. we hope you enjoy the new version. We hope you like it. Yeah. All right, guys, take care. We'll have a we'll have to throw the card. Almost forgot the most important yes. part. Throw the card. See you guys tomorrow, Tuesday, on the morning routine. <laughs> terrible. Yo. I'll try. I want to try. <laughs> all right, maybe we should all just get cards and all throw them. Oh, damn it. Just like